Hey guys! So we have our tray here after the first um, pour. It looks beautiful. So I just wanted to point out a couple of things to you though. So come with me. So you can see here, remember yesterday I mentioned the wood is just gonna soak up the resin like crazy and you can see some dry spots here. Dave had a really good analogy yesterday. He said it's like pouring resin, resin on a dry sponge. You're gonna get spots where it just soaks it up like crazy and a few dry spots too. So I'm gonna give this a, a sanding because there are also those little bubbles where the wood gassed or off gassed yesterday. Uh, and then because I used the gloved hand, the glove just sort of pulled some of the, the loose bits of wood, especially from in here. So there are a couple of spots here where there's shavings and, and wood bits. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna pick these out. Just gonna use a utility knife and pick these out here. Okay, so we're just gonna give this a light sand. Seems like kind of counterintuitive to be doing this, you know, like you're ruining it, but it's gonna be fine. Okay, so I've sanded down uh, the front. I'm just gonna flip it over. And you can see here all the little drips that have formed. So we're just gonna sand these down as well. And watch how easily these come out. You know what, this is gonna take a while. I'm just gonna go out and buy a sander. Come on, let's go shopping. We're going to Lowe's. I love hardware stores, it doesn't matter what kind. When I was a kid, my dad used to um, take me to the hardware store and my favorite thing to do was to go ring all the doorbells. I used to drive everyone crazy. And they were just, up? They did, at least the one that we went to. Well, they I all were. Lowe's has that. I don't know if they do or not. I haven't done it for a long time. Hey. <laughs> this is what I used to do for ages. Oh. No, it's all the same. Ooh. That's like a clock. Oh. oh, 10 different songs. Oh, I'm going to be here a while, okay. sorry. <laughs> hey. I'm busy. So that's paper. how you do it. <laughs> so there'll be different, different grits? Yeah, so there's 80. Okay, so we're back from our shopping trip. I've got the belt sander, got my safety goggles, and I am going to sand this piece of wood here. Ooh. Wow, holy. With this process, it seems like when you have like dense stuff in wood, mm -hmm. it's a bit of like, it's like pouring and then sanding, and then that reveals like even this is low. And then you'll pour again, you'll probably do this for this to make it perfect, you might even do this like two more times. Really? Maybe even three more times, yeah. All right, that feels good. So dust it off, take it back downstairs, and we'll continue with our resin. And now I'm ready to do another coat of resin. Uh, I did wipe down all the dust with a damp cloth, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna use this spray here. Just again, to get into all those little crevices. Oh yeah, there's a lot of dust coming off there. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do is just put a very, very thin coat with a gloved hand um, just on the bottom. I'm gonna let it dry and then tomorrow we'll flip it over and then I'm gonna start my layering. Okay, so I've got some resin mixed up here. And again, I wanna be really, really um, frugal with the resin. This is not gonna be the final coat. So sometimes, um, you know, because wood is not even, it's not always level. Um, you might have to do this resining, sanding, resining, sanding step a couple of times, and that is totally okay and normal. So that first layer that we did yesterday is really gonna help because it's soaked into the wood. So when we put this layer on, um, it's gonna sit on top. We won't have those patches. Okay, so I've got my very, very thin coat of resin on here. We're gonna uh, cover it up, leave it overnight, and we'll continue on starting our layers tomorrow. Here we go. See you tomorrow. They never had this when I was a kid. All right, man. See, I told you, <laughs> this aisle is fun. Okay, bye. Oh, that's the best one.